<sighs> I just got done with my afternoon nap and I was kind of daydreaming and we need some way to level out the land for the building. So this is the farming, farming episode number two. Now I hate numbering farming videos, so I'm not going to number them as we go because I want each individual video to be something special, whether it's like kind of construction, like this is almost going to be, or something else. I want them to be kind of individual, not just straight farming every single time, even though some aspect of farming is going to be involved. But you guys loved it. You guys tore apart that video with likes, dude. Right now, we have our farmhouse. Here's my land. Now, if you guys remember episode one, we had our farmhouse right over here. And I had to move it. There's there's reasons. There's reasons why I had to move it. Also, the basement. So everybody said, hey, squad, you didn't dig a hole in the bait. That's why there's grass there. Because you need to dig a hole for your basement. Well, I dug a hole and there's still grass. What I'm going to do is we're going to go over to the platform dealership now i think i was looking on their site earlier and they have a dozer i think i gotta see if it's still on their site but hear me out if i could rent a dozer to level out spots for my buildings that would be perfect because like that land needs to be graded i plan on putting a like a 50 by 160 giant building here like right through here and i need to grade this off and so I'm not going to, I don't have anything to grade off. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can't rent dozer from them. Okay. Let's hop on the website. Now. Also, these guys are going to deliver my equipment today. My equipment I bought last episode is going to get delivered and we got to buy some more yet too. Oh, oh, they got, okay. So if I need a lawnmower, they got a new, oh, they have this in stock too. Um, J, uh, Buck was talking about this lawnmower they're getting. That's nice. Okay. So they have that in stock too. Uh, equipment sales. Please have a dozer. Please have a dozer. Okay. Maybe it's construction equipment or something like that. Used equipment sales. Used equipment rentals okay let's go equipment rentals construction equipment okay 2001 cat d11 bulldozer baby okay so it's either 1800 per day or 400 dollars per hour i think what i'll do is i'll pay 1800 bucks and just rent it completely for a day but i wonder if that's with delivery if, hopefully that's with delivery otherwise dude uh, my cummins is not gonna be able to pull that d11 dozer man i mean some of you guys out there are big cummins fans and say hey squad just load her up man she'll do her but i don't think that's possible man mowing services i may hire them for mowing too that wouldn't be bad i, I could hire them for mowing okay oh okay so if you go to used equipment sales over here they also since i bought equipment off of them they already took down the equipment i bought off of them that's kind of cool they're really quick on updating their website. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'll show you guys the plans. Hopefully, I can get this built by the end of the day. But what I'm going to do, we don't need this big text or the 4020. I probably should unload the 4020. For now, I'm going to leave it on the trailer. I'm going to fire up the Kelmans. We're going to start her up, warm her up, and then I am going to... I'm not one of those guys that keeps their tow mirrors. First of all, we got to detach this trailer. So, um, I think it's this button. There we go. Tailgate's going down. Let's disconnect this gooseneck. There we go. We kind of didn't leave a lot of weight on that front of the trailer. There we go. Okay, let's put the tailgate up. Tailgate is up. You should see it fold up. And then, okay, I'm not one of those dudes that runs his tow mirrors when he's not towing. I'm not one of those dudes. Can't do it, man. I just can't do it. We're going to fold those tow mirrors in. Nice. Okay. Even though tow mirrors do make the truck look a lot more beefy, I love them. But I can't put them out when I'm not towing. And also, I think you can adjust the mirrors. I got to figure out how you can adjust the mirrors. But I'm really sure you can adjust the mirrors on this, which is just sweet just imagine this at the end of this episode this should just look fantastic if i do everything i want to do i'll talk you guys through the plans once we get back and hopefully we can get that dozer i, I just okay i just gotta say again thank you for the overwhelming support on this role play series we're just trying to we're gonna try to make this a crazy role play with this and, and try to really change things up and make things realistic the way like farm sim hasn't been put out on youtube before i just want to I really want to change it up the style a lot. We've arrived. We've arrived. Okay. Oh. Jake's here too. Nice. Nice. Oh, here. Let's talk to Jake for a second. Okay. They have the D11. I was hoping they have that as long as it's not booked out for a day. Jake, how you doing, man? Hey, man. I literally just shut the truck off because I was like, well, he ain't here yet. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you're, okay. So wait, so Buck and you are hauling together, right? He told me yesterday you yeah. guys were hauling. I got you. So are you yeah. guys, okay. Quick question though. I need, uh -huh. can you guys haul that D11? If I got to talk to Buck to make sure I can get it and it's not leased out 
But will your guys' trailers be able to handle that thing? Uh, yeah, I think this this one that uh, big the big Bertha is on right now should be able to handle okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. So here, let me talk to I got I got to run out I got to run inside and talk to Bucket. He must be busy or something. But um, I'm thinking what we could do. I don't know if you're cool with this, but what we could do is the 8970 since you guys are delivering that and you guys already have it loaded up. There's no point yeah. in unloading it, so you guys could probably take that to my farm, and then and then come back and pick up uh pick up the d11 as long as i can get that d11 though okay yeah can do he's in the office just finishing my paperwork on my tractor so that's where you're gonna see him wait you just bought a tractor too no got one fixed <laughs> oh what do you have 8400 uh, oh yours was that like yeah, 8400 8, in there right yep oh, okay what happened on it clutch went out <laughs> oh shoot dude if you want if buck's busy you can but you could probably run that down and by the time you get back buck will be ready to go with that 8130 to take down all right sure um i might need to just get the address from either him or you here but i can run down there yeah 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 it's 208 chestnut road more iowa so yeah all right that'll work 208 good. chestnut road yep you should be able to get there cool. and then honestly i have the, just park it anywhere up by the house is fine you can fire up and just mm -hmm. drive her up by the house that'll work good and then by the time you get back we'll probably be i'll probably still be talking to buck Cause man, that dude likes to talk forever, and then we can get that uh, dozer loaded up. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I'll get that taken over for you. Okay, sounds good. I'll All see right. you later, Jake. See you in a bit. Buck, you little devil, man. You're a savior. Hey, You're man, a savior, you Buck. Buck. Huh? Yep. Did you guys just get that dozer in? Because I am stealing that if nobody's using that, man. Uh, no, we actually got that in on trade in earlier this morning. Some guy. I don't know why the heck the guy brought it in to us. We, we said we'll take it. We don't. He came in here and borrowed something. Who knows? It is it is up for grabs. Uh, if you need it, we can load it. We can take it somewhere. I um, need it, Buck. I need it for the day, man. All right. Um, well. So you guys got what fifteen hundred dollar rent on that thing? Uh, actually, no. It's got some new stuff on it, so we had to bump it up to eighteen hundred. Oh, it's okay, eighteen hundred. Yep. Okay, Buck. Okay, Buck. Listen here, man. Okay, I right. did a lot of business yesterday. Okay, I have yeah. a lot more equipment to buy throughout yes. here. You rent that dozer to me, twelve hundred. All the equipment I buy from now on is gonna be is gonna be bought from here, man. Think about the long term benefits of this deal, Buck. Come on, Buck. I'll take I'll take sweet care of that dozer too, man. I'll wash her up for you. I'll wax her after I'm done. That's like two hundred dollars right there for a wax. All right. Um. Well, on, I don't Buck. have too much of a say on it, but could we bump it up to thirteen fifty? Sounds good, Buck. So that's a All Buck. Right. That's a deal. That's a deal, Buck. That's a deal. All right. Everything I'm buying from now is coming is coming from here, man. All right, sweet. Let me just write that down quick here on my notepad. Okay. And Buck, I might need a lawnmower soon too. I saw you got those oh, yes. uh, those new walker yes. stand-ons. Uh, uh, would you actually like a quick little rundown of those just so you can know? Oh, I'm, I'm Buck, you're always trying to push me a lawnmower, no, man. No, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Um, okay, if you don't want to hear about our brand new spectacular <laughs> no, lawnmower, it's not I, mine. I can All listen. Right. Okay. So we, these just came in. This another. We, we got a lot of stuff in this morning. So this shipment was. What's up, Jake? Right, hey, Jake uh, I, uh, oh. So you have a tow chain. You got stuck. Is he stuck? Uh, He's stuck oh, in the driveway. Hey, hey, wait, hey, the Cummins can pull her out, boys. The Cummins, let yeah. the Cummins do her. All right. Uh, All right. Did he bottom out? Yeah, it's bottomed out. Oh my I gosh. Caramba. Okay, hey, um, Buck, Buck, do you have a tow yes. chain? I do not have a tow chain, but we gosh, can definitely darn it, use Buck. the motor. You got a John Deere <laughs> dealership, you don't have a tow chain? Not yet, I, I, I don't know. I don't run half that stuff. I run sales, not like parts. <laughs> okay, okay. I okay. Uh, might have one in, in the in the cab or something. Or wait, something. wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. I got an idea, boys. Buck, if you're cool with this, man. D11, I'm gonna fire that baby up, yep. and I'm just That's gonna give him a little thinking. push from behind. Yep, All right. fire it up, uh, definitely. This doesn't I mean, count as a rental, right? Yet? Yeah. Time doesn't start yet, right? No, uh, okay. it's got enough dings on that front blade, and it's gonna be strong enough. And plus, okay. this is my trailer, so. <laughs> okay, as long as you guys are cool with it, I mean, I'm down. Heck yep. yeah, let's do it. Okay, All right. okay. Be careful with it. Let me move my Dodge out of the way here. Wait, Buck, keys in it? Yeah, keys should be in it. I was okay. moving it around this morning. Okay. Holy crap. Cat D11, boys. Fire this baby up. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. It's got depth, too. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to lift the blade on this. There we go. Put her in drive. I think that's the gear. Yep. Okay, we should be good. 
Holy crap, dude. This is going to be fun. Leveling out, grading out uh, the building spot. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome. Okay, let me talk to Jake real quick. Just so we're on the same page before I do him. Okay, Jake. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so... Okay, I'm going to just slowly push from behind, if that's cool. And then, yep. are you trying to go to the right or to the left? Right. Okay, okay, I'll just slowly push behind, I think, and then it won't take much, though. It won't take much. No, no, that thing's got plenty of power. Okay, sounds good, man. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to put the blade slowly up to him. We should be good. I don't want to wreck this semi. Slowly, slowly. Come on. Okay, here we go. I think it's connected. Push. There we go. <laughs> he should be good. Nice. Yep. There he goes. Okay. There goes Jake. So now... Oh my gosh, dude. That scared the crap out of me. Holy crap, man. What is this? I'm just looking at myself. I turn around to look behind me and I look right at my dude. Oh my gosh, dude. What is that? It's almost like that third person view. Okay. For now... Um, I'm gonna just back the cat up to where it is and then these guys will should be bringing it later Okay, so we're gonna head back to the farm. Uh, I'll help him unload that. I should be able to beat him there We'll help him unload that 8970 and actually I gotta talk to Buck later on probably tomorrow or something like that I need to buy more equipment because right now it's mid spring and there's only three more days left of spring before I can get crops in so I got to I got to keep going so we can actually get crops in the spring because there's no stopping seasons or anything like that I, we got it. We got to get some. We got to for sure get a planter, cultivator, disc. Yeah, still a lot to do. Here, let me stop. Let me stop. Oh, Buck's going right now. Buck, you coming out to my place now? Uh, might as well. I mean, I thought that's kind of what we were doing. I mean, unless you need to get. I believe we already got the business deal settled up. So yeah, I'll just make my way down there, and then we can get the low boy that Jake's hauling. We can get the D11 loaded up, and we'll get that down to you as soon as possible. Okay, ten four sounds good. All right, good buddy. Oh, there's Jake. I thought I was going to beat him to the farm. He took a different route. There he goes. Okay, so he's going to beat me to the farm. And then we have Buck should be behind me. He's probably a ways behind me, though. Yeah, he's way back there. Jake's got one giant hill to pull up. Holy crap, dude. That is, oh my gosh. Okay, there he goes. Nice, and he's going to make that turn. I guess my dr one thing we got to expand on is the driveway here. As you can see... It needs work. I need to make it wider because we're going to have semis pulling in and out all the time. There he goes. Yeah, Jake, if you want, you can just unload right here. This is going to work good. Right here? Alrighty, that'll work. That'll work perfect. Fire, fire up, unload her, and then uh, I'll hop in the 8970 and just back her off. Sure thing. Okay, first time the tractor arrives to the farm. Welcome home, 8970. And... There we go. She is home. Okay, so now there's actually no home for this to go yet because we don't have... A shed so for now I think what I'm gonna do is just park it right alongside the house I, sw I swear this is gonna be look look like the weirdest farm ever to any farmer he's gonna be like dude has one house 8970 4020 and 8130 and doesn't have any implements or anything like that but eventually we'll get the farm built here I'm gonna stop Jake for a sec hey Jake are you gonna head back and get the d11 now right yep that's okay. what I'm doing okay 10 4 all right see you in a bit Buck, you got right, her here. Yeah. Yep. Um, let me just get a couple straps undone on this, and then I'll get her backed off. Uh, or if you want to do that, but more welcome to. I'll just get a couple straps off back of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you had the? Is this what is this a load king? Because. Uh, uh, yep. Jake had that low boy, which was probably pretty nice. Yeah, this I like this trailer personally a lot better. Man, Buck has a fancy trailer down here. Holy crap. Oh yeah, she's a. Uh, oh, oh, you're there. Oh gosh, I didn't know you were right there. You scared <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. man. Oh my god. Yeah, the hydros on this are really nice. It's a brand new trailer. Uh, this is a very go-to, like, get this kind of trailer model. It is a slightly on the heavier side, so I can't haul it as fast. Yeah. Plus, turning's not great with the only with three axles, and they don't steer. But it's yeah. a very nice trailer. I but gotcha. You can back that off. Do whatever it is. I'll take this back to the dealer. And, uh, well, Jake, I believe, uh, was heading back to get the D11, right? Yep. Sounds good, man. Right. I'm going to jump in here. All right. All right. 8130 has made it home. So now, oh, shoot. I always, I'm not used to this. I always put it in drive first, but I'm going to slowly back this off. And then I guess I got to get duels yet, too. I don't know if they're going to bring duels along with. I got to kind of figure that out. I think they probably still have them at the dealership. 
But we get them like next week when I actually need them or something like that. We can always put them on then. And there goes Buck. So the AD-130, I'm just going to back up right here for now. I know this looks really weird, but for now it'll work. And then while we're at it, while we're waiting for while we're waiting for Jake, I'm going to get the 4020 off the trailer too. Man, dude, that Cummins looks nice. You got to admit, oh, that looks so good. Okay, we need tailgate. There we go. We don't really need tail mirrors because we're not moving the trailer, but we got to connect to the trailer. Okay, I'm going to fire up the 4020, lift the loader, and then I got to make sure... There we go, there's reverse. We'll just slowly back her off. This trailer is so sketchy right now. Oh my gosh, because the tires aren't on anything. It's the ramps and it's connected to the truck pretty much. So my backyard, as you guys can see, is a little rough through here. Now what I plan on doing eventually, well, first of all, we need to get, man, I need to put this in drive. There we go. First of all, we need to get the back, we need to get the sheds in the front yard done pretty much. But then the backyard, I really want to design like with bushes, stuff like that. Maybe even a pool back here would be really neat. I think that's my dozer, boys. There she is. By the way, guys, if you... Oh, gosh. Is that going to fit with that car coming down there? Oh, my gosh. I think it'll be fine. Holy crap. But if you guys want to see Jake's view, Pickle, um, I'll have it down below. Uh, I'll have a link down below to his video if you guys want to check it out. Nice. Holy crap. That thing is huge, dude. Whew. I'll tell you what. This thing almost doesn't fit down the road. <laughs> I saw the oncoming cars. So I was like, how is he not going to take out the cars? Yeah. yeah it's, it's here. We'll so, get it unloaded for you. Uh, keys are in it, so. Dude, it's your truck's like kind of rolling, man. You got your brakes on? <laughs> it's, the brakes are on. It's just heavy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want to detach, I'll fire up the D11, and then I'll just pull it off of there. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be so nice. To, oh, my gosh. That is so sketchy. Okay. Anyways, I hate the... For some reason, it just looks at yourself. But anyways... We're going to pull this off of here. There we go. We got our forward gear. And slowly. I feel like this is just going to destroy this trailer. There we go. Okay, it's off. Nice. Time to do some work with this thing. But here, let me talk to Jake. Got to figure out plans to get the dozer back there. Jake, what are you thinking? Tomorrow morning, just around this time, you'll swing by and pick it up? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow around uh, well, one or so, maybe? Or... That works like good. I, on, I I should have it done by one. I should have everything done. Okay. I need to have but one. But thanks for delivering it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Have fun with the toy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll see you later. See ya. Holy crap. There goes Jake. Get the horn, Jake. Toot it. Uh, I don't think he hears it. Okay, anyways, so that building, I got to measure out, what was it? I got to check the building for sure. So the shop is roughly 72 by 160. I mean, basically exactly 72 by 160. So I got to walk that, measure that out, and then I'm going to just try to grade that off, just real level through here, get a nice solid base of dirt, probably backtrack, backtrack a lot of it. So everything's all clear. We got to scrape off a lot of this sod here. And then we can have the contractors come and uh, get that building down here. Okay, so the first strip is just going to start right here. I'm going to lower this down. There we go. Probably right there. Now I'm just going to push up there. And then I'll, I'll figure it out later. I just want to strip off this, this sod basically right now. That's what I plan on doing. There we go. Seems like it's working good. And I'll just do a pass. And then another pass. And then another pass. Should work out good. And then I'm also going to backdrag it just so we can kind of level this out a little better. Now, backdragging with the dozer, I'm not sure if it actually works that well. But you can see, there we go. So there's our first pass that stripped off real nicely. Now I got to make, oh, it's probably going to be three or four more passes here. But then we'll get a nice pad down. And everything should go good. So I'm just backdragging our last pass. And everything seems to be good through here. I think we got it. it should be good. And there we go. Nice. So I'm going to... Shut the dozer off for a second. And then this is the pad. Now I'm going to bring the contractors in here. And we're going to build this shed. And then we're going to start working on other ones. And I got to get... I got to figure out what we're going to do with other sheds, guys. I got to figure out. A lot of this will probably be time-lapsed. and But hopefully I can get this all done today.
everything worked good. Now, I'm going to give you guys a rundown, and the storyline doesn't really line up fully, but I, I, I spent an hour 20. I got it right here on timer, basically, because I can see the recording length. An hour 20 building this farm. There's probably some things I may need to add, but for now, I think I got a good idea of the farm, and I want to show it to you guys. I think this is probably my best farm I built ever, and uh, it's interesting. It's a different perspective. It includes kind of an old school farm and kind of uh, kind of a modern farm too at the same time, which is which is really neat. So when we first start, well, I guess here. Well, you come off the road here. Now this, you guys might be thinking, squad, is this your road? No, this is actually a gravel road through here, and uh, that kind of winds up, and that gravel road g goes all the way along those power lines, leads to that farm, leads to a lot of different fields. That's a gravel road. This isn't part of my farm at all. There is this building, which I could get off here, and you see tractors still got to put away, but that's the fun part. So the shed went up. Shed went up good. Um, this is the 74 by 160 or 170. It's nice. It is. This is going to be perfect. Now, you guys might be like, dude, squad, you put up way too much shed space. Here's the shop. Here's some more just storage. We could get by with just having this shed, honestly, like for storage we'd be fine we'd totally be fine and then here's an office area which is going to work fantastic there's a back door to that um and then also we put up the oh what is this called oh man i always forget the name right away who building tin building no that's not the name what quonset quonset that's right quonset so this isn't it's not the biggest you could probably fit a, maybe even a planner just back the planner in to work on it's kind of nice this is older and stuff this is definitely the newest shed over here I'm gonna actually take a walk around. I'm gonna shut the 4020 off or here. I'll park the 4020. We're gonna walk the rest of the way. Just back in the 4020 in. We'll just park it right here for now. So like I got going with this modern feeling of of the farm. And then I was like, I was like, dude, we need some we need some older buildings. It's gonna flow perfect with it. It doesn't really make sense, but older buildings were here, and then eventually we built on top of this farm a little bit. But it doesn't make sense because we just built it from scratch. Anyways, I had to have this old style over here. So, over here, these are old buildings that just don't get used much. I don't know if I'm going to really use them. You can see the gravel and stuff isn't just, like, there's weeds and stuff. We don't really use these buildings. The windows are all dirty and stuff. But, you know, say we need to put something in here, I'm, I'm, it's fine. It's a good building. It works fine. So that's gonna work good for storage. The only thing is this is an older building and they didn't account for all the new tractors that were gonna be built in the future that are crazy tall. So like my combine probably won't fit in that building. And then here was, this was built, this wasn't built in 1974. This would have to be built, uh, I feel like this is built earlier. But anyways, they used to milk out of here. And so you can see the silos and stuff. They had a dairy farm going out of here. This doesn't get used much at all. This was a whole cement law. It's just overgrown with dirt. Can't even see the cement through here anymore. And then there's just complete pasture out there, which I may use. If I get into livestock, I could kind of refurbish this and get this kind of running again. You know, say we need to store any different type. Holy cloudy skies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, say we need to store like some grain or something in there. I can always I can always use those. We can still they're still usable even though they're about falling over. But I, th I think they're good still. Now we got bins. I didn't go with a crazy big bin setup. I want to eventually go work my way up to a nice bin setup. For now, I kind of just went with the regular ones, smaller ones. And then here was kind of a control room for the bins for loading, unloading. I thought that'd be kind of cool, even though it's just like co-op on there. And then here's just extra outdoor storage. This was an older building. We don't use it much, but it might come in handy for some smaller implements. So truck drivers, like if we're taking trucks or gravity wagons through here, we can enter off the road right through here and then just head on down through there then there's our bins or so this is kind of my side road is what i put in this is almost like my side road lane works good for trucks because trucks don't have to make tight turns you can see the turns we're making not that tight turns if we're having trucks or if we're having gravity wagons either way i think it works out good so whew, this is crazy i think this is probably what i'm lo i'm loving this so far i'm loving this series i don't just always feel free to tell me what I can improve upon. So for right now, I'm going to put the 8130 in the shed. Now, like I said, we're pretty much going to be using this shed slash shop. We're not going to be using much. Maybe I'll put the 8970 in the quant set over there. 
and you know in this when we get bigger equipment like a lot of different equipment i'll, I'll eventually start filling these over here and stuff it'll, it'll it'll all work out good but for now i'm gonna just mainly focus on using these two buildings right here and eventually if we need more storage space we got it we can fill those older older barns over there so back the 8130 in here probably just gonna put it in the corner for now there we go and then the 8970 why not just put it in here if, if i can fit the 8970 in here i'm gonna put in the quonset the beast will be stored in there it'll have its own little cave i think it's gonna fit i think it will oh didn't mean to put it in reverse yet and then by the way with the dozer that was actually a guy's idea on the last video so like i said if you guys have any ideas like that dozer we we kind of did there feel free to throw it out there man that was a great idea to use a dozer to kind of level out some buildings level out some some land for the buildings there we go <laughs> i think that's perfect for the 8970 to be stored in there nice we're done we are done. Besides, there's maybe some stuff we'll touch up as we go through here. I'm digging the farm. It's not just, it's it's a, it's like a, almost like a long farm. It like kind of extends all the way down here. It's different. It's nice. I like it. So, anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Like I said, if you enjoy the roleplay, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.